Seeing success in your Google Ads campaigns can actually take a little bit of time, especially if this is a new campaign, because over that first four to six weeks of a new Google Ads campaign, you're gonna be doing some time consuming work, like going through your full list of search terms to add in some extra negative keywords, and also setting up those initial ad copy split tests, where you're testing the different headlines and descriptions, which are gonna increase your conversion rates, which are gonna increase your click-through ratios, and you're also gonna be testing some different landing pages to find out which landing pages are most effective in driving those conversions. So with all of that work going on, you wanna be able to make sure that all of that time and effort that you're putting into reviewing your data and making different optimizations in your Google Ads account is actually making a difference. And by that we mean that we're seeing week on week improvement in your core data, like your click-through ratio, the number of conversions, and also your conversion rate. So in this video, I'm gonna show you an easy way that you can check to see if the optimizations you are making in your Google Ads account are actually making any difference. And I wanna stress that this is a really important process, especially if you're new to Google Ads. And the reason for that is because if you go through and review your optimizations so that you can find out what is working and what isn't working in your Google Ads accounts, it's the fastest way for you to be able to learn and really validate what are the optimization actions that make a positive a difference in your Google Ads campaigns. And especially if you're running multiple Google Ads campaigns across different accounts. If you go through and review this optimization data, it lets you know very, very quickly what works and what doesn't work. And in fact, that's how I learned Google Ads and why I now know exactly what you need to do in order to optimize a profitable account in your Google Ads campaign. And by reviewing this process, it not only showed me what actually works and what optimizations to focus on, it also let me know what is the best timeline for completing these individual optimization actions. And by reviewing this process over a number of years, it allowed me to put together my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this is the checklist that I use on every single Google Ads account that I optimize because it lets me know exactly what I need to be optimizing in my Google Ads account every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And if you would like to get your own copy of my Google Ads optimization checklist, all you need to do is to follow the link in the description below and you can get your free copy right now. So how do you do this? How do you go through and check to see if your optimizations that you're making in Google Ads are actually working? And the easiest way to do this is to go through and review your change history. So to see this data when you're in your Google Ads account, you just wanna go into all campaigns, or if you wanted to, you could break this down into individual campaigns, and then go into your change history. And when you come into your change history, if you don't see this bar graph at the top, just go over to the right of the screen here, and you'll see an option of a drop down arrow, so you can either show the chart, or hide the chart. And when we're in here, I've already set this to view my conversions and my cost per conversion. But the other metrics that I also look at is I also look at my click-through ratio and we can also look at the number of clicks. But for the moment, I just wanna show you the difference between the conversions and also that cost per conversion. The other thing that's important when you're reviewing your change history is you wanna look at this over a longer date range. So here I've got about three months of data, but I'll also usually go through and have a look at six months and even 12 months of data. And sometimes I'll even look at two and three years of data, depending on the age of the account. And then from there, what I also do is I also use this chart option because I wanna see this in a weekly view. Now, because I've got three months of data, I break this down to weekly. If I'm looking at longer data segments, so 12 months or two years, I will break this down to monthly. And what we wanna see here, so you can see in this example, we're seeing that this is a positive performance in that we're seeing our number of conversions increase and our cost per conversion drastically decrease. And then what we can do is we can go through and look at the different changes that we've done. So I've already got this screen set up here where we're looking at some of the different ad changes. And what we can see here is we set up some new split testing copies for ads in that late June. So we initially did a run in May and then we did another run in June. So when we're looking at the May ones, so we made this change this week through here, we can see that this did have a little bit of a change, but it didn't move it 
too much. And then we move to June the 21st, we can see that this did start to have a big change in that we saw some positive changes from our first round of ad copy changes. And then when we went through and added this second round of ad copy changes, we saw another further increase. And then from here, I've also just gone and looked at our keyword changes. And you can see we've been going through and regularly making our keyword changes. And you can see the big catalyst of this change was late in June. And what we did through here is that this is when we put together our keyword changes and also our ad copy changes, we started to see a really big increase in the performance of our account. So by going through this change history, you're able to very clearly see what are the optimizations which are generating you more conversions for that individual account. Because in some cases, you might find that some campaigns are more responsive to you focusing on different ad copies, whereas other campaigns will see far more success by focusing in on the keywords. And then you might get other campaigns which are really responsive to when you add in some extra targeting around your audiences and your different bid optimizations. And then another great benefit of reviewing your Google Ads change history is you can also pinpoint any optimizations which had a negative effect on your campaign performance. Say for example, if you went through and added in some new negative keywords and this restricted the account too much and you saw a decrease in clicks, which also led to a decrease in conversions, you can then very quickly go through and revert that change. So in that example, you just go through your negative keyword list and remove that negative keyword so that you're opening up your campaign to get some extra searches from that keyword theme again. Or if you added in some ad copies which didn't perform as well as you'd expected, you can then revert back to ad copies when you had a successful campaign going. So right now, why don't you go through your own change history so that you can start to see which optimizations are having a positive effect and which optimizations may be having a little bit of a negative effect on your Google Ads campaigns. And then when you find those touch points, just focus on doing more and more optimizations around those optimizations which are increasing the performance of your Google Ads campaign, and then remove any of those optimizations which have had a negative effect on your campaign. Thank you for joining me on this video. Just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And just in case you don't know, I release two new training videos for Google Ads every single week. To make sure that you are notified every single time that I release one of these videos, why don't you subscribe to my channel and also turn on that notification bar. Thank you so much. And then finally, remember, for you to be able to see the best results in your Google Ads campaign, you need to have a very clear optimization schedule where you know exactly what you're optimizing in your Google Ads account every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And right now, why don't you go through and grab the free copy of my Google Ads Optimization Checklist, because all you need to do is to follow that link in the description. And if you also wanna see a video with my top five optimizations, which you need to be focusing on right now in your Google Ads account, go through and watch this video right here. Thank you for joining me, see you next time.